This is the neurotypical brain and this is the neurodivergent brain. Both are complete, but they form in very different ways. Each piece represents an important brain function, focus, working memory, impulse control, organizational skills, task initiation, creativity, problem solving, hyperfocus, and sensory sensitivity. Now let's start with the neurotypical brain. During development, neurons form and strengthen connections in relatively consistent patterns. As I build this tower, notice how the pieces are stacked in a balanced way, each level supporting the next. That is similar to how communication between brain regions becomes well coordinated, allowing for steady attention, smoother transitions, and balanced emotional responses. Now let's look at the neurodivergent brain. Research shows that while it uses the same building blocks, the connections between brain regions develop in a more variable rhythm. Some pathways, especially those linked to attention, emotion, sensory processing, may form stronger or weaker links compared to the neurotypical pattern. This process involves something called synaptic pruning. Everyone's brain prunes or refines neural connections during childhood and adolescence, but in some neurodivergent brains like autism or ADHD, that pruning may follow a different timeline or pattern. This means certain connections are retained or strengthened in unique ways. As a result, some people experience heightened sensitivity to sound, texture, challenges with organization, or difficulty reading social cues. But those same patterns can support exceptional creativity, deep focus, and novel problem solving. There's nothing wrong with either brain. They're simply organized differently. Understanding those differences help us build environments that support both kinds of wiring.